smiles and messages of thanks filled the halls of the Linda and Vince McMahon Center for Women and Children during its grand opening on Monday. I'm a mom and I'm a grandmother. And when I see these young women, some pregnant, some with small babies, and I look at these small babies, you know, it's just, it's very important to me uh, that we help them. These are women who are struggling, they're trying hard, so to give them an opportunity to do that is really special. This gives us a chance to be by ourselves and work on ourselves. The center is the new location of Liberation Programs Families in Recovery program. And any women who are pregnant or have children up to the age of 10 who are dealing with substance abuse issues come to us and we help them to really just kind of get back on track and restore their lives and, and create a lifelong recovery. When I found this place, I cried. I cried for three days. I cried because they care. Like they were like, you're coming and you're coming now. Call everybody, let them know you're coming so you have everything set up. And it was like the biggest opportunity for me, you know, to have a fresh start with my child and my recovery. Like it was amazing. I feel like so much at home here. It makes me, you know, feel really good that people care so much to take their time out and to, you know, help us girls, you know, with the second chance. A $500,000 grant from the Vince and Linda McMahon Family Foundation allowed the program to move from a limited space in Stamford to the lower level of Ginny's house in Norwalk. When you can help one person and one child move out of the environment which could drag them down, you know, forever, you really accomplished a lot. In Norwalk, I'm Kujerba Crawfee for It's Relevant News.